Peter, thank you so much for the 32 months, mate. Hello, I did. Thanks for the good stream. Uh, the feeling when you make the big upgrade is amazing. I went from an i5-8600KF to the i9-14900KF. Amazing. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15. Activate instantly online with Microsoft and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. There you go. Thanks, Pete. You know, when somebody does that, here's what I think we ought to do. Oh, yeah, show them. Here you go, 8600 KF to... All right, here we go. Shall we show the two? Shall we show? Oh my gosh. Here you go, this is what Peter, Peter went from the 8600KF uh, to the 14900K. Wee! Doubled a single core performance and... Wow, he can actually get stuff done. Don't have to sit there and wait for 30 seconds for a page to load, make a cup of tea. Uh, it's a real difference. <laughs> it's a real difference. <laughs> And of course, use case. How often do you say use case? Oh, a lot. What computers do we have at the office at the moment for our basic, just office type stuff? The 5700G? Yeah, one's a 5700G, the other's a 5700X. Yeah. So work fine? Works fine. We have two 4K monitors plugged into it. Pulls up web browsers fine, yep. runs great. Yep. If any of you watching have a Zen 3 chip, a 5700X, a 5800X, a 5900X, a 5950X. Is there a difference in upgrading? Yes, but only if you are an extreme premium user. I mean, if you've got a 4090 and an ultra wide monitor and you want 144 frames a second and ray tracing ultra, yeah, okay, maybe you need an upgrade. The vast majority of people do not need to replace that. Like That's why I said uh, an 8700K and not a 9900K. Yeah. I actually believe most people with a 9900K can just, have another year. Just keep going. Yeah. Below that, it's, it's getting to be time. John, thank you. John, thank you for direct support. I recommended a PC for uh, a- WQHD. Uh, yep, 144 hertz. A Ryzen 7700, 32 gigs, DDR5 6000, and an RX 6800, 370 euro new. MSI Gaming Pro B650, good deal for a budget of uh, 1050 squiggly lines. Well, to be clear, I can't evaluate prices outside of the U.S. because oh different God. things are different deals relative to each other outside the U.S. I only do pricing and deals on the U.S. Is that a good deal in Europe? That should be euros. I don't know because I don't know what everything else costs. A lot of times what will happen is somebody will say, well, here's what I'm looking at. Here's the price in euros or pounds or whatever your local currency is. Yep. And then I'll say, I... I don't know, is that a good deal? And they'll say, oh, well, here's the conversion because apparently I don't know how to use a currency converter. Yeah, but there's... It has nothing to do with the currency conversion. It's it has to do with... What everything else is worth. What does a 7800X 3D cost in your country relative to that? What does 64 cost relative to that? What does a 7800XT cost relative to that? How much are motherboards? It's knowing the above and the below options of every item. To make sure that you're getting the sweet spot. Yeah, that's the problem. And the sweet spot in the US may not be the sweet spot in Europe no. or Indonesia no. or Australia or wherever else you are. Yep. And so my advice is based upon the sweet spot in the US. It sounds like a reasonable deal, but I just want to put that caveat that I don't know what your market is. Thank you for the support. Mixie. Mixie, thanks so much for the direct support. He's got 500-ish squiggly lines. And assume, let's see. He's running a 5900X with 32 gigs of RAM and a B550, and he wants to know what GPU to put on there. 7800 XT, 4070, or Super, or the 7900 Gree. Any of those would be lovely. And you're right, those are about the right place to be. If you've got a 5900 X, a 4070 Super, Super. or a 7800 XT, T. or a 7900 GRE, we looked those up the other day. Yeah, the, we they did. are, they're 50 bucks apart, and 
they're within 10% of each other. Do you other. want ray tracing? Do you not want ray tracing? The AMD cards have 16 gigs of VRAM. The NVIDIA cards have all the NVIDIA features, ray tracing, DLSS, NVE and C encoders. You care or you don't. Um, the 7800 XT, well, the 7900 GRE is probably going to beat the 4070 Super in a lot of games by a small margin. Depends on the game. All I can think of is the Gree from Star Wars Old Republic when I see Jerry. They are so close to each other, it almost doesn't matter. It's a very personal preference. Yep. So. But I like that. That's the right price point for 5900X. Mm -hmm. Pio, Peon Peasant. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dave. Yeah, Dave. Thanks for the direct support. We appreciate that. Upgraded by 5800X and a 4070 Ti to a 5950X and a 4090 just to see the performance. Um, runs great, but big bottleneck in 1080p 360 playing Call of Duty and Helldives. I will wait till next gen CPUs to upgrade after watching text reviews. Whole, oh. that's, a, that's a huge upgrade, but yeah, a, a 5950X will bottleneck a 4090 yeah, it almost will. no matter what you do. Correct. Yeah. It's a huge bottleneck. Mm -hmm. Even um, the, yeah. 1080p 360, he's got a heck of a use case there. That's competitive gaming right there. He is the person who either needs a 7800X 3D, a 7950X 3D, yep. or a 14900K. Yeah, that, that extra cash will definitely help you, uh, Peon. Definitely. What would be nice is if they made a 7950X 3D with 3D cache on all the chip. Mm. Unlike the half cached, half not nonsense. Yeah. What a terrible system. It is. Come on, AMD, do better. Yep. We love you. So thank you, Peon. That's Thank you for the generous support. Yes. Hang on, he needs two gold, gold stars, stars for that. Do, 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 That's... Do, do, do. All the gold stars. Nicholas, thanks for the Canadian uh, maple syrups. Is the real usage of RAM the committed one? Oh, uh, yeah, we'd... It's very hard to figure out how much RAM Windows really wants because Windows lies. It does. It The stated RAM use in Task Manager is... We've pulled it up several times. Why don't you show them? Pull it up and show them. Show them. You mean on this little laptop where it oh, yeah. doesn't need any RAM because it's literally yeah. just running Chrome. But you can still show them. You can still point to things. So we've got 32 gigs of RAM installed on this laptop. You've got in use, which is 7.2. You've got committed, which is 9.8. This section right here is the standby RAM, which is cache data and code that's not actively in use. And then we have free RAM, which is not currently in use because Literally, I'm just running Chrome on this laptop and doing nothing else. So 16 gigs would certainly be plenty for this. If you're just running Chrome and just browsing the web and just sending emails, then sure, 16 gigs is fine. Um, load up a game on here, load up multiple programs, and it wouldn't be. Nope. It's interesting, though, how much RAM gets sucked up the longer you leave Reddit Windows running. Some of it is probably memory leaks, and some of it is probably just... Windows being dumb over time. Rebooting helps sometimes. Yeah, it does. Because Windows can be weird. It clears some stuff out. If you pull up Process Explorer, you'll get a different RAM count from Task Manager. And if you pull up other programs, you'll get different RAM counts. It's weird. Just put enough in there, you don't have to care. <laughs> Well, RAM has gotten cheap enough that, uh, yeah, my, my kind of viewpoint is mm -hmm. it's... Thankfully, I don't continue to see people say that all anybody needs is 16 gigs anymore. I mean, occasionally, but, <laughs> you know, oh, I, we're past that. Now it's 32 or 64. Yep. And we've gotten some really nice comments lately, especially over on Bite Size Tech from our 64 gig RAM upgrades. Um, one, oh. guy, one guy actually commented over there that said that he was convinced that 32 was enough. He built his machine with 32, and he goes, it's fine, it runs great, everything's wonderful, there's no problem, because he listened to all the other reviewers out on YouTube who all said, you know, 16's fine, 32 is premium, 64 is stupid, and it's for professional content creators. 
But after watching our videos and hearing me say it over and over, he goes, you know what? It's not that expensive. And he bought himself another 32 gigs of RAM. Yeah. And you know what his comment was? Oh. I can tell the difference. Yeah. He goes, my machine's not faster. It's smoother. Yep. My RAM usage and task meter went up with it. It was like Windows was making it work, but now it makes it work better. Mm -hmm. And he's like, thank you for keeping on it because I was so sure I only needed 32 gigs of RAM. Mm -hmm. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well. Anyway, okay. next. Nicholas, thank you. VRAM is another thing. 12 gigs is really not enough for the 1440p60. Right now I have Chrome and Steam open and I'm using 2 gig, which if I was to run a game, it would leave only 10 gig-ish. Yeah, VRAM. That's why we're telling people stick a little bit more VRAM in your GPU. All those people who want to go eight, okay. Well, 12 gigs of VRAM for 1440p is marginally enough today. It it but you'll be replacing it really fast. And mm -hmm. honestly, that's probably Nvidia's intention. So the 4070 Super has 12 gigs of VRAM, but that's not going to last a hot minute. 3 4 years from now, it's going to feel like yeah, a sad joke. That card needs 16. But to get 16, you have to go to the 4070 Ti Super, which is $800, which is once you spend eight hundred, you might as well spend a thousand to get the forty eighty super. Yeah, and we talked about that. But now we're all of a sudden in a price bracket because here's the problem: by the time you get to a thousand, I would remind everybody that the seventy eight hundred XT is five hundred dollars and has sixteen gigs of VRAM. So we could say that Nvidia sucks, but they're too busy making a eighty bajillion thousand dollars in the AI data center market and, and they don't really can't care. Hear you, yeah. Yeah, they don't, they don't really care. I I hear you, man. Um, there you go. Peter says he runs his, go over there, he runs Adobe on uh, his 14900K, 64 gigs of DDR5 and 4090. And yeah, it runs yeah. them at, yeah. That's exactly what we're saying. Thanks for the, for the backup, Pete. It just is what it is. 